Hello, hello, and blessings to you and your family. Thank God for another day. Today is July 19th, 2021. I thank God for his goodness, his grace, and his mercy. Um, I want to thank you, Lord, for being here in this atmosphere. Decrease me, increase you and me. Let your anointing take over. Give people an ear to hear and a heart to receive, Lord. And rebuke and bind anything that's not of you. In the name of Jesus, send it to the pits of hell where it belongs, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, and we welcome the Holy Spirit to fill this place. So, welcome y'all. Hey, subscribers, visitors, new people that's dropping in just to check out this ministry channel. Well, I'm here today. Praise God. I give him the glory for a new day. Um, He gave me a dream this morning. I woke up from the dream at 7.36 a.m. And the dream is titled, which the Holy Spirit quickened my spirit with, The Enemy Will Try and So Discord But Fail. Yeah, the enemy will try and sow discord, but fail. So I'm gonna read my dream because you know I wrote it down. And the dream is thus. I dreamt on July 19th, which is today, 2021, that I was standing next to a friend. She was sitting down. Some man who was there with a woman got up off the sofa that he was sitting on behind me. And he stood there with his left side of his body, you know, facing my back. The left side of his body was facing my back. So the whole time he was standing there, he had his back side of his hand, you know, the back side of his hand pressed in the small of my back, the lower part of my back. He just had it pressed in there. But he did it so nobody could see him. So that means he was sneaking and doing it, okay? Because, you know, like I said, he was he was with some woman. And, she, you know, her friend, she was there. Another another woman was there. Um, then the woman that he had with him and the other woman began fighting my friend. My friend girl who was sitting down on the couch. And I woke up at 7, 26 a.m. So, y'all, y'all know how I am with numbers. Um... You know, 7, 7.26 I mean, a.m. I'm sorry, y'all. 7.36 a.m. So, you know, 7 means complete. The 3 is the Trinity. 3 is Trinity. And, you know, 6 is man. You know, the enemy and man. But, um, discord. That's what the enemy was doing. That's the title. The enemy will try. Try. <laughs> and so discord, but fail. Yeah. He will try and sow discord, but fail. <clears throat> okay. Discord, the definition of discord is disagreement between people. And they have other definitions, but that's the one I'm going with this title right here. Discord, disagreement between people. So, y'all, you got to be careful who you let in your circle. You got to be mindful of who you share your plans with. You, got, you don't let everybody know what the Lord is doing in your life. The enemy will use people, you know, to try and start confusion. Mm. The enemy will try and sow seeds of discord. The enemy knows that you're getting ready for your breakthrough. He knows that you're getting close to your destiny and purpose that God has for you. The enemy knows. He knows this, but he doesn't like it. <laughs> he doesn't like it one bit. Oh, no. The enemy knows that once you move into what God has called you to move in, oh, my gosh. You're going to draw many people to Christ. So he's going to lose a lot of followers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Satan doesn't like that. So don't share every move that God has given you, that every move that God is doing in your life. Don't share with everybody. That includes, you know, your own family and your friends. That includes them as well. Okay? Because Satan can use anybody. Satan can use anyone. To assassinate the dream that God has birthed within you. That God has placed within your spirit. So you got to stay prayed up. You got to stay in the presence of God. You got to pray and worship and, you know, worship God. Put, him in, put his word in your spirit. Okay? Put his word in your spirit. You got to fast and pray while rebuking the enemy and his attacks out of your life. Fast and pray while rebuking the enemy and his attacks out of your life. Okay? So right here, Matthew 17, 21, AMP Bible. Um, 
but this kind of demon doesn't does not go out except by prayer and fasting so that's Matthew 17 21 AMP Bible but this kind of demon does not go out except by prayer and fasting okay God has given us the power of authority y'all oh yeah to bind and loose anything on earth and it will be done in heaven in Jesus name okay yeah because I have a scripture right here the Holy Spirit gave me Matthew 16 19 New King James Version and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Yes, it will. So, like I said, you got to rebuke and bind stuff. We have to speak into the atmosphere out loud, out of our mouths, with the power of the authority that God has given us. We must bind and rebuke. Yeah. Anything, even if it comes in our dreams, to sow discord into our lives. We must lose God's favor and his blessings in our lives into the atmosphere. Yeah. In the name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth, the Messiah, the Lord will cover you with his hedge of protection. That no weapon formed against you will prosper. The Lord will give his angels charge over you to protect you in all your ways. Yeah. Right here in Psalm 91, 11, NLT. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. Oh, yeah. That's right. The Lord will do that. And Psalm 141.9 ISV. Protect me from the trap laid for me and from the snares of those who practice evil. That's another scripture. Yeah, y'all. So you can't tell everybody everything that God is doing in your life, every step that God is doing. You can't tell them everything. Because some people, they pretend to be happy for you, but they're, they're upset because they're not moving forward. They feel stuck. Like, oh my God, I've been doing this longer than them. Or I've been, even people that's in the world, I mean, in their own word, even um, other sisters and brothers of Christ, sometimes they, they flesh rise. You know, they may feel like, oh, I've been serving the Lord. They just started and the Lord blessing them and moving them that fast through life with everything that they've been praying for. You know, so you can't tell everybody, y'all. You got to hold it. Z -z -z keep your mouth zipped. <laughs> you can't tell everybody everything God is doing for you. Because some people, they'll be, you know, jealous. They'll be feeling some type of way. You know, they're human. But the enemy, the enemy, he always thinks that he can do something and stop it. Because he will. The enemy will try and sow discord, but fail if you speak and use your mouth like God gave you the power of authority to do into the atmosphere. Speak what it is that God is doing in your life. Like speak it, that you have the power of authority to speak, bind, rebuke, and loose things in this earth, and it will be done in heaven. So y'all, if you don't know God and you want to get to know him and you want to get to know him right now, I have the prayer of salvation. And I'm going to say it and you can repeat it after me. Dear Lord Jesus, <laughs> I ask you to forgive me of my sins. I believe you died and you rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and my wicked ways. I invite you, Lord, to come into my heart and into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Oh, yeah. So just know you done gave your life to Christ. You're trying to start to walk with him, you know. You're trying to get out this world and just walk with Christ so he can guide you and direct you. The enemy is going to attack. He will be throwing those fiery darts at you. He will, it will be some havoc in your lives sometimes, you know. But the Lord always has his angels protecting you and surrounding you and covering you to go out and do what he has to do. His head of protection is over you. The blood of Jesus covers everything. So we are just covered with the grace of God, you know. Yeah. So just don't turn back and go back into the world. Keep walking forward. Get with other believers so they can edify and build you up in the word of God. Romans 10, chapter 13, verse NIV says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. And Romans 10, chapter 9, verse NIV says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. 
So y'all, read Acts, second chapter, 38 through 39 verses. It's about being baptized, repenting and baptizing. Okay, so so now you need to go get baptized. Ask the, ask the Holy Spirit to guide you to a church if you don't have one, where the Holy Spirit is, so you can get baptized. Oh yeah, wash the old man away and start walking in the new. So Acts, second chapter, 38 verse and 39 verse, 38 through 39 verses, <laughs> NASB says, Peter replied, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Verse 39 says, promise is for you and your children, and for all who far off, all who are far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. And y'all need to test the spirit too. Because everybody who say, I believe in God, and y'all can come serve my God, is not talking about the same God that I am talking about. The Alpha and Omega beginning and ending. Yeah, they're not talking about him. So you got to test the spirit. Read 1 John 4 chapter, 1 through 6 verses, ESV. And you can read about testing the spirit, you know, because Jesus came in the flesh as a man in the flesh. So we could talk to the Father through Christ, through Jesus Christ. So we could talk to the Father through Christ, you know, have a relationship with the Father through Jesus Christ. That's why we pray in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. That's why we pray to it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, read about the spirit of divination like witchcraft and stuff. The Spirit of Divination, Acts 16 chapter, 16 through 18 verses, N-A-S-B, about the Spirit of Divination. Because they have all types of spirits, y'all. You know, the Antichrist Spirit, the Spirit of Python, of Delphi, the Python Spirit, you know, the, deep, oh, the Spirit of Divination, you know, the Jealous Spirit, the Envy Spirit, the, you know, the, the Spirit that's just always, it's always different types of spirits that come around, you know, because that's the enemy. The enemy wanna sow discord. But he will fail if you just believe and stand on God's words. Yeah, with faith, believing. Yeah, hallelujah. So, y'all, thank y'all for stopping in, checking out my ministry channel that the Lord has given me. If you have any prayer requests, you can um, contact me through my Gmail. It'll be in my description link. And I pray for you. I'll pray for you. If you need to call me, you know, Give me a number in um, the Gmail, and if the Lord lead me, after I pray on it, if the Lord lead me to call you, because I'm going to seek him first, then I'll call you, you know, to ask them, is this of you? Is this of you, Lord? Is this what you want me to do, Lord? Or do you want me to just pray for them? You know, type it up and pray. But I will do what God asked me to do, because I'm, I'm going to stay in his will, because his will is a perfect will for my life. So I thank y'all for stopping in, you know, checking out this ministry channel. But I want to say, Lord God, I just thank you for this day, for the visitors, the subscribers, people that's curious that you drew to this ministry channel, Lord. I thank you, Lord. And I pray for the nation, the sick, shut in, and incarcerated. I pray for everyone, Father, all authority, Father. I pray that you leave us, lead us in spirit and truth, Father. Hallelujah. And I thank you for doing so. Thank you, Lord. I pray for everyone, Father, that we all become one church, seeking you, Lord, and living for you, drawing others to Christ. Hallelujah. Lord God, I just thank you in the name of Jesus, and I bless your holy name. So, y'all, many blessings to you and your families, and until the Lord, you know, give me a dream, a vision, or just speak to me and tell me to upload a video, or just tell me to upload something, you know, just something kind, so y'all, you know, because he knows somebody needs it. I'm going to just be obedient to him. So many blessings to you and your families. Y'all have a good day. <laughs>